Hi everyone, back here again for another video to show you why I think an iPad is better than a laptop. It's because of this, the Apple Pencil with the iPad. Writing or drawing is just something I couldn't do with my previous laptops. I'm not an artist nor I'm good in drawing, but I like doing it as a hobby when I have free time. I like to draw, sketch, and copy whatever I want. And when I'm home, I try to spend my time sketching or drawing rather than binge watching Netflix. Though I must admit, I sometimes run Netflix in the background while I'm drawing. The app I use is the free version of Paper by WeTransfer. I like it because it makes you feel like you're actually using a notebook and the tools are pretty straightforward and very easy to use. Using the Apple Pencil on this app is pretty smooth, though there are small glitches here and there, but overall, the strokes are very responsive and smooth. And using the Apple Pencil on this app captures my very unique handwriting very well, as you can see here. Having the ability to write on the iPad gives me the chance to try out a digital journal. I have been journaling since last year and I like it because I can see the benefits that are quite positive for me. So let's see, hopefully next year I can transition to a digital journal. I use the journal typically the same as any other journal where I write down my to-do list for the day. And I also have a section called journal your thought for the day to do some reflection. And here's the fun part. I have a section called doodle of the day. This gives me a chance to draw and practice more and just draw whatever it is that stands out on my day. Here's a time lapse of me copying a photo I took of my iPad and Apple Pencil. As you see here, just with the free version of the app, along with some creativity and sense of fun, you can come up with a pretty decent drawing. I still have my planner as my main journal where I manually write my goals and my tasks. And I use my iPad with it if one of my tasks, for example, is a research where I want to take some notes. Also, if there are some books that I read that are quite interesting, I also take notes and I use the GoodNotes app. At first, I was hesitant to use GoodNotes because I got hooked up with the paper app. But as I use both apps more, I realized that the paper app is more on the fun part because I can do my drawings and sketches, while GoodNotes is more on the serious part of note taking. I like writing on my analog journal, but the iPad Air 3, even if it's not a high-end spec device, pairing it with the Apple Pencil and using a very well-developed app like GoodNotes and Paper, I know I made the right decision of buying this and I'm a very happy customer. So that's it. Thanks for watching.